inversion tectonics, or the compressional reactivation of faults in sedimentary basins, is common in many of the world's sedimentary basins. In this short video, we'll look at how we can quickly build an interpretation using a stepwise approach. We can use the regional concept to develop an idea of the history of this particular fault, and then we'll analyse the stratigraphic record in terms of the mega sequences associated with the deformation history. So you can see we've picked out five horizons that we can trace out through this profile. Here's the yellow horizon at the top, running from right to left, gently bulged up across a structure. And this particular horizon appears to be continuous. However, the next horizon down, the brown one, seems to be broken on the right-hand side of the fold structure. So this horizon has been faulted, but what type of fault are we dealing with? Well, let's construct the regional for this brown horizon. There it goes. So you can see on the left-hand side of the break in that horizon, which we assume is a fault, the orange horizon has been elevated above its regional. OK, now let's do the same thing for the next horizon down. So here's the continuity of the blue horizon, again, which appears broken, presumably by a fault. So let's again construct the regional for the blue horizon. There we go. And we can see in the vicinity of the fault, particularly on its left-hand side, the blue horizon has been elevated again above its regional. Let's do the same again now for the mauve horizon. There's the mauve horizon, broken by a fault. There's its regional. And again, the mauve horizon has been elevated above its regional in the vicinity, particularly on the left-hand side of that fault break. Finally now, let's do the same for the green horizon. Now the green horizon also is broken, but it also is, has an unconformity relationship with the mauve horizon on the right hand side. Nevertheless, it's been offset, presumably by the same fault that's offset the other horizons, shallower in the section. Well, let's construct the regional for the green horizon. There we go. And this time, this particular horizon has gone down on the left-hand side of our inferred fault break here. So the green horizon is dropped below its regional. So we picked a bunch of horizons and compared their behavior to their own specific regionals. And these are these behaviors. So at depth, the green horizon has gone down, but all the other horizons have gone up relative to their regionals. Well, let's now just pop a fault on and add the sense of displacement. The hanging wall side of the fault has gone both up and down. And we can infer that it's got first went down and then more recently has come back up again. It's inverted, started off as a normal fault and has then moved later as a thrust fault. And we know that the movement is later a thrust because the yellow horizon has been pushed up a bit. So let's just tidy up our interpretation Snap the horizons to the fault, snap our horizons to the fault, and just reiterate that this fault acted as a reverse or thrust fault recently, deforming the yellow horizon, but started life as a normal or extensional fault. Just add a couple more horizons at depth, just to, you can add more if you want to to these types of exercises. But now let's just add descriptions of the mega sequences. Starting in the shallow, you can see that there's a thickness change across the fold represented by the yellow and orange horizons, where that interval thins across the anticline. So we've got a package of rocks there that were deposited during the inversion, their sin inversion mega sequence. Below that, the interval thickness between the orange and blue horizon is more or less constant, as is the thickness of between the blue and the mauve horizons. So that looks like it's a pre-kinematic succession with respect to the inversion. However, it's a post-rift sequence with respect to the intervals that lie deeper. And you can see that the package between the mauve and the green horizon thickens towards the fault. It's a sin-rift package of rocks. So we've got a sin-rift package at depth, and presumably below that, a pre-rift package represented by those black horizons that we picked out and those are collectively overlaid by a post-rift package that then becomes a pre-inversion package for the later contractional deformation that's occurred. 
is contractual deformation is recorded by the interval between the yellow and the orange horizons, and perhaps even a bit shallower as well, although the deformation is presumably over by the time we reach the modern seabed. Those youngest most strata there are horizontal and seal the structure. The deformation is no longer active. So a quick illustration of a stepwise interpretation of an inversion structure from the North Sea. We've used the regional concept, deduced a fault history and interpreted the stratigraphic record in terms of this faulting history.